Hello everybody, thank you so much for clicking this video. In this video, you'll see all the behind the scenes footage of the Golden Buddha mural I just did for the green cat. This mural was quite the challenge, you'll see, but there's so many great things that came out of it. And going over who the green cat is, their restaurant, they're a locally owned restaurant in Virginia Beach. They're all organic, vegan. The atmosphere in there is just amazing. Their employees are so friendly and the owner there just took great care of me. I loved working with this company and it meant so much to me. I'm really glad that I did this and enjoy the video guys. so excited to get started I just measured out everything and they're so sweet they provided me with a smoothie helping them out they're helping me out and I can't wait to get started on this mural what I'm doing right now is I'm about to prepare for my mural so mural prep I'm about to take inventory of the amounts of paints I have see what are good what new paints I need to fill up the space pretty much. Get my paint brushes in order, buy a projector. This will be my first time actually using a projector for a mural, so cross your fingers it works out. This is my setup for right now. You can see I have the time lapse going over there. And now time to take inventory. I just went through all my paints. For the most part, the quality is actually pretty good with them. I found out what paints I do need, just a few gallons, not as much as I thought, thank goodness, and that should get me through the rest of the mural. But what I didn't realize is that I do need paint brushes because the paint brushes I did have, we just moved and they got lost during the move, unfortunately. So I need some new paint brushes, some rollers, and I just called Jerry's Artorama to rent out a projector and someone's renting it right now. And I'm starting the mural tomorrow, so I gotta figure out that. Here's my checklist right here. These things specifically are what I need from the store. So I'm about to run some errands right now. So I just came back from Target. I got some spoons and plates for the painting. I'll show you guys what I do with them. But I decided to stop at a mural I did last year, see how the paint was doing, and I'll be using the same paint for the green cat mural. And it seems like it's doing awesome, especially after being on there for a year or so. I just came out of Lowe's, I got $70 worth of stuff, but I'll be using this stuff for a really long time. There are paint brushes, paint buckets, and things like that, rollers. I just came back from Sherwood Williams. The total cost in paints was $130, so I was $20 off of my estimate. Together with $75 from Target and Lowe's, I guess that's $205 so and my goal was to stay under 200 I was just $5 off I'm very happy with that hopefully there will not be any more costs but now I'm about to mix my paints and yeah get to it Still mixing paints, 
I'm pretty messy and pretty red because it's super hot. Almost done though, pushing it through. It's currently 9.40 p.m. I was mixing paints for I think three and a half, four hours. It's not an easy job preparing for a mural, but I'm so glad they're mixed and I look forward to actually painting it. I would say this is the hardest part about doing a mural, preparing for it, but that part's pretty much over. So now I get to do the fun stuff and paint it. This is three and a half hours, four hours of work just mixing these colors. I'm at the Green Cat right now. I ended up finding a projector from my instructor. He let me borrow his. And Zach, my brother, helped me out because it was my first time. He just instructed me where to create the outlines because it was really hard to see against the wall. But we do have a little bit of outlines super hard to see but you can just see a little bit of the sharpie hopefully you'll stay on there until tomorrow and then i'll just go over with paint i would give the projector experience it was a pretty poor experience to be honest it was a lot of maintenance maybe i'll try it at night next time but it was it was great day one starting the mural so exciting i can't wait until I see the final result. So going on out here, the high is around 85. So just got to be really careful about sunscreening up, not getting burnt. I have my UV shirt on, sunglasses, hat, and just chucking away this mural. Can't wait. I'm gonna wrap it up because I'm feeling pretty beat up right now, but I made a ton of progress. I almost reached my goal of completing all of the background. My feet, pretty gross. Been barefoot all day. My clothes are covered, but it's all good. plenty of energy to continue on this mural. I'm applying sunscreen right now and I think my headphones just broke. So I got to get that figured out because I do want to listen to an audiobook or music while I paint, you know, it keeps me entertained. Super rough texture. Definitely been quite the challenge. You can see my first coat of paint goes like that and then just got to take the end of the paintbrush and just mash it in there to make sure it's opaque like that. It's 6.30 right now. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm very tired. Today was a nine hour work day. Yesterday I had an 11 hour work day and it's out in the heat too. So. I'm pretty tired now. I'm going to go home and just watch a show my family or something. I made a ton of progress. This mural is really starting to shape up.
now it's 8 30 i'm about to start this mural i feel really energized and excited to get this done because i'm more than halfway through and i see results so i just got that extra spark and i'm ready to start this long day this is my setup the setup's in the car so you can see all my mixed paints in here just grab whatever i need to and then take it over here put it in this bucket for a handle and then just paint away got my water my paint brushes and water for me to drink too so oh and my time lapse over there the ipad yep so what's super cool about doing this mural and any mural in general people go up to me and they're like oh like it looks incredible and they every compliment really is just so encouraging I'm like oh like i'm so stoked i'm doing this and they're like oh can i have a business card i want a mural too and just from being on site it's pretty much like marketing you know connections and that's how i get future murals <laughs> Day, hopefully I have about five more hours to go just punching in the detail today is supposed to get up to 96 degrees so just praying that it won't be that hot on me or I somehow get some more shade it's day eight last and final day hopefully mentally I am fizzling out but I just have five more hours I Put in the color for the windows where they used to be white, now it's seamless. And just really tightened up some details. o'clock I have about two three more hours left to go and then I'm finished I'm so excited I just want to get this done actually I forgot to mention that last time the last work day I was here I got stung by a bee and my skin right now even two days later <clears throat> two three days later I'm still having a reaction I didn't have an allergic reaction, but my skin is, so wish me luck. <laughs> Almost done with my mural. I'm so close to finishing. I can't wait. Right now, I'm taking a look at my bee sting, and I think it's infected. This is my first time ever getting stung by a bee, and I don't think it should be having this reaction. I should definitely do something about it. So once I'm done with this mural, I'm definitely going to get that figured out. Cap sign. Look how big this is. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so stoked. I just finished my mural. I don't even have words. But before I do show the mural, it's important as a mural artist to clean up your space. So I did move some pots, like some plant pots, put them where they belong, put the hose back up there. I got some paint on the ladder they let me borrow, so just clean up. Be respectful of their stuff, you know.
now been three days since I finished my mural. I picked up my paycheck and it feels so good to pick it up. It's awesome over there. But what I'm doing right now is cleaning up. It's pretty boring, but I gotta do it. My car is an absolute mess right now and my brother and I share a car and he's kind of been going a little nuts. He's like, get the car clean, get it cleaned. So I'm definitely gonna do that. I'm gonna get a car wash, clean all the stuff out, stick to my promise. You can see all of it. So yeah. The Green Cat and I once again are gonna partner up and we're gonna create brand new shirts of hashtag the Green Cat Buddha. So stay tuned. Wow, that was quite the experience. Thank you, The Green Cat, for being so supportive, so patient during this entire mural, just hooking me up with smoothies on these 90, 100 degree days. It was definitely quite the challenge. That texture, the weather, those long 10 hour work days, but you know, at the end of the day, it's done. I'm so proud of what I did, especially all alone. Thank you, I'm just beyond words. I want to talk about a few things I did learn. I learned more about texture, like surfaces, I guess you could say. This texture, as you saw, was super rough. I had to take the paintbrush and just really mash it in there. When, as the mural did go on, I did learn that there is a spray painting airbrushing realm that I should totally tap into because I believe that'd be a whole lot more efficient to get in little nooks and crannies like that. So this was the straw that broke the camel's back. I'm gonna get into that. With future murals, this is gonna happen. I learned about projectors, you know, when to use them, what projectors I should use, you know, buy in the first place. Should I buy one, should I rent one? I learned a ton about that. I also learned about recording myself. I, you know, I'm pretty new to this and as the video did go on, I became more confident in recording myself and I, I'm thankful for this entire experience. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Like, subscribe, follow my Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all the above, and you guys will definitely see some future content. So peace out. Thanks, guys.